بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. Continue on in the issue that we were talking about, the third point that Sheikh Muhbil bin Hadi al Wadi, or the second and third point that he mentioned. He said, "Natakid, natakid u ana nida al amwat wal istighafati bihim wa kada lahya fi ma la yaqdar alayhi illa Allah shirk billah." He said, and we believe that supplicating to the dead and seeking or having hope and seeking the support of the living whom are not able to fulfill the request in things only Allah can fulfill is a type of shirk. And we already explained that, meaning that if someone is... For example, you ask your doctor, oh doctor, I need you to give me a baby boy. Or I need you to give me a baby girl, or I want twins. Your doctor's unable to fulfill that. Your doctor can help you deliver the baby, can do that in the best of manner with his experience and so forth, but he can't guarantee anything. It's from Allah And this is the belief of the mu'min. So we have to be careful of even with the living, to avoid shirk. And then the Sheikh said, وَحَكَدَ عَقِيدَ فِي حُرُوز وَعَزَائِمْ أَنَّهَا تَنْفَعَ مَعَ اللَّهُ أُوْ مِنْ دُونِ لَا شِرْك وَحَمَلَهَا مِنْ غَيْرِ عَقِيدَ خَرَافَةً The Sheikh said, Rahmatullahi He said, and likewise, the belief that حُرُوز وَعَزَائِمْ حُرُوز حَفِذَكُمْ الله refers to um letters or paper that is written on in, and it has like shirkiyat. I'm not very familiar with this type of thing, but this is probably a type of shirk that was popular and probably is popular in some of the Muslim lands, and, you know, from traditions and so forth, where they write maybe sh uh, poetry uh, or shirk that has uh, contained in poetic form or, or any form and they uh, write it on, on, on papers and so forth and maybe they hang it uh, or that they hang sandals or other than that and they use this as in order to protect you from the eye, protect you from the evil eye or from jinn. So the shahid here is that this is a type of shirk and that only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can protect you from these things and you don't rely on trinkets and other things. And azaim, ahabbat fillah, this is like when you're hanging something like a necklace or something on your neck in order to protect you uh, from harm or from harm coming to you. And this is also a type of shirk and something you should stay far away from. The Prophet ﷺ said, Inna ruqa wa tama'im wa tiwala shirk. So the Prophet ﷺ mentioned tama'im, which is a type of hanging, uh, you know, something on your body or a, a, a neck, around your neck, in order to protect you from harm. But in fact, only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can protect you from harm and bring about benefit. The Prophet ﷺ said also, "Men alaka tamimatan fakadashrak." Whoever puts a tamima uh, around it, you know, uh, whoever hangs this uh, has committed shirk. Letting us know that, of course, with that with that akida, believing that these things can affect you and and pr provide for you and pr 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 prevent you from harm and evil eye, that this is shirk. Put your trust in Allah Azza wa Jal. And with regards to that, we'll mention some great fawaid from Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah and also a fantastic piece of research called Masail al-Aqidiyya alati haqqa fiha ibn, uh, ibn Taymiyyah al-Ijma jam'in wa darasatin. This is a, I believe it was a master's thesis or a PhD thesis. It's fantastic. Had it for several years. It's an excellent volume, which is a compilation. The person who, who did this, uh, and it, it was a piece of research in Umu Qura. And anyway, it's it's taken us uh, uh, from the books of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah. Uh, things that he said were uh, that there was ijma, that he 
said that there was ijma from the salaf and he, you know his adilla from that. So it's it's just a, a, a compilation of that. It's a fantastic piece of work and excellent piece of research. Good for research. So in this book, one of the things I wanted to mention. As Sheikh Islam mentioned, of course, that uh, there was ijma, meaning a consensus, or nas on this issue and nasus on this issue of, you know, supplicating to other than Allah, seeking refuge in other than Allah, and seeking think, you know, seeking support and protection from things that cannot uh, benefit you, nor can they protect you, prevent harm from you. So I'll read this uh, ibara here. Lam tukun mas'ala du'a ghayr Allah mawjuda fi sadr al-awwal bihada sura alati hiya alayha al-yawm wa lam tantashir bayna dhahranihim wa thalika li quwwat al-islam wa izzatuhum wa lakin lamma ibta'ad ابتعد المسلمون عن حقيقة التوحيد التي دعا إليه جميع الرسل وابتعاثهم الله من أجله استطاع الشيطان أن يلبس عليهم في أعظم قضايا وأجلها, وأجلها وزين لهم دعاء غير الله تعالى الذي قد عرف بضرورة منافاته للإسلام فسول فسولوا لبعضهم دعاء الأولياء واستغاث بهم وسؤالهم ما لا يقدر عليه إلا الله جل وعلا it's a fantastic ibadah so that's why I had to bring the Arabic and then we'll translate uh, a beautiful statement this isn't the statement of Sheikh Islam I believe this is the the one who compiled this but this is a fantastic thing, letting us know some of the history behind the shirk. He said, during the early uh, times uh, of Islam, it wasn't known this type of shirk, meaning this type of shirk especially was not known in the Muslim community. We're not talking about the pagan Arabs, but we're talking about inside the Muslim community, the first generations, they didn't deal with this. This is why you don't find, in, in the early Aqidah books, they don't talk about some of these issues as much. Uh, they talk more about shirk with regards to al asmai wa sifat and this is where most of the deviance and bid'ah uh, began aside from that of the Khawarij and the the Qadriya and uh, also the Shia those sects they also had their own bid'ah which they innovated in the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but what you'll find a lot of the early Aqidah books you won't find them when they talk about shirk and the issues of Tawheed, you find that they emphasize Al-Asma'i wa Sifat because you had the Ma'atala, you have the, um, you had groups like the the Jahamiya, the Mu'tazila, uh, the Ashaira, later on the Maturidi, Maturidiya, and many other groups of Ahl Kalam who innovated with regards to Al-Asma'i wa Sifat. And this was where the Tawheed, so even those groups generally didn't commit shirk with Tawheed uh, al-Uluhiyah. Okay, so now we'll get back to the text. So this is just to give us a little background. So he said this issue was not uh, known, uh, really apparent in the Muslim community uh, in this way during the first generations and the way it is uh, today. And he said it didn't, it, it didn't spread uh, in their societies, basically. And he said, and that was due to the strength of Islam and its honor in those, you know, in the pristine uh, form and the time. And he said, however, when the Muslims began to get far from the reality of Tawheed, which the messengers uh, called to, and that they were sent with, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمِ لَكَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةِ الرَّسُولِ لِنِعْبُدُ اللَّهُ وَاجْتَنِبُوا تَعْبُودِ and we sent to every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone and stay away from the Tawud, those things worship besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, then at this time, when the people got further away from Tawheed and so forth, the later generations, then the, the shaitan was able to enter into the Muslim community and deceive them 
with in the the most severe of affairs, and that is with 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 tawhid, by corrupting tawhid with shirk, and beautifying for them, uh, supplicating to other than Allah the Almighty, uh, which was known by necessity to negate Islam, letting us know it's from the Nawaq of Islam, you know. Bringing shirk, supplicating to Allah, supplicating to, uh, supplicating to other than Allah or with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a partner or the dead and anyone who can't, anyone or anything that can't benefit you is shirk. And it negates the usul of Islam, the usul of Islam. Islam is built on tawheed. Everything we do is for tawheed. It's about worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tawheed al ibadah. So, that negates the essence and the asl of Islam. Uh, you know, supplicating the other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the people began to, some of them began to supplicate to the uh, to the saints, to the righteous people, the pious ulama and the pious, and the ones who had died from their community who were known for ibadah or whatever. And even some of them worshipped the fasics, but they somehow become famous or what have you. Uh, and they sought help from them and they asked them things which, and they asked from people who had no ability to fulfill the request and only Allah was able to fulfill the request. And that's a type of shirk. And we already mentioned that. Another thing uh, also I want to mention, which is also uh, important here, is this shows us uh, also from the Salaf, even from from the Salaf, who, you know, a nice uh, statement of one of the Salaf, negating the shirk, negating that you should supplicate and ask of anyone else. And we already know the Nasus from the Quran and the Sunnah is Kathir, there's so much. <laughs> Here from the Salaf, and this is Maja uh, on Imam Salim ibn Abdullah ibn Umar ibn Khattab. رضي الله تعالى عنه حيث قال لا تسل أحد غير الله تعالى. He said, uh, Salam, the son of Abdullah bin Umar bin Al Khattab رضي الله تعالى عنهم جميعا. He said that do not ask anyone. Other than Allah or accept Allah the Almighty. Don't ask of anyone. Okay? Letting us know that that supplication is so serious. That supplication is only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And likewise, call it Ibn Jarir al Tabari fi tafsir qulahu ta'ala. So Imam al Tabari in his tafsir said about this ayat, and we'll leave, we'll leave off here. He said uh, in the ayat, in the verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا تَدْعُمْ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ مَا لَا يَنْفَعَكُ وَلَا يَضُرُّكُ فَإِنْ فَعَلْتَ فَإِنَّكَ إِذَنْ مِنَ الظَّالِمِينَ uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And do not supplicate or call upon anyone besides Allah who cannot benefit you or harm you. And if you do this, then verily you are one of the Mean. You're one of the wrongdoers, the sinful, wicked ones. And so then Imam Tabari said about this. He said, Wala ted Wala Ya Muhammad, Minduni Ma'budak, Wahalakaka, Shay in Layan Fa'ak fi dunya, Wala fil Akhara, Wala Yudurak fi deen Wala dunya, Yani, Bidalika, Al Aliya. Al-Aliha wa Aslam yukul la ta'budaha rajiyan naf'aha o kha'if dharraha fa innaha la tanfa'a wa la tudur So he said Imam Tabari said about this ayat he said and do not that this ayat was addressing the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam O Muhammad do not supplicate to anyone except the one uh, who you worship, meaning your Lord, Allah, your your Creator. Uh, 
because no one else they can't not, not, these other ones that, that that someone would worship or what have you <coughs> they cannot benefit you in this life nor in the hereafter nor can they harm you in your deen or in your worldly life or in your dunya and with this all the gods and those uh, idols do not worship them uh, out of 